Jupela Olbrata Nasista Bilong Mi, Jupela Olbipel Bilong Papua New Guinea, Mi Laiki Jupela, Mi Happy True Long Stab One Time Jupela Long Country Bilong Jupela. Yes, to the M E de Bilong Big Pela Abamas Bilong Mi. I am happy to have come to this young and vigorously developing nation and I am grateful to God for the opportunity of spending this, this next days among the beloved people of this country. It is in friendship and brotherhood that I come to you today, desiring to strengthen the respect and love that unites us. But I come especially as chief shepherd of the Catholic Church to make a pastoral visit in this land. It is my great joy and pleasure on behalf of my country to welcome you, not only as the leader of the Catholic Church, but also to welcome you as one of the world's great leaders, seeking peace among all peoples and promoting the dignity of mankind. You come to us today not as a stranger to a strange land, but as an honored friend to visit friends. Keriso ena maino ferevana lau abia mai umui dekenai. Egu vadi vadi be turana bona tadi kaka ladanai lau mai. Vada eni umui abi gudae totona lau noi noi dirava dekenai. Umui danu ya noho hari ela bona hainai hainai. As you know, this is not the first time that I have set foot on your land. Over ten years ago, when I was still Archbishop of Krakow, I already had the pleasure of being in your midst. I still remember well the beauty of the landscape and the warmth of your hospitality. I recall too the rich diversity of your citizens, how you are composed of many different tribes, each with its own history and tradition. For some time, no, it has been a special desire of my heart to celebrate in Papua New Guinea, the centenary of the arrival 
of the first missionaries who came to you in Port Moresby in obedience to Christ's command. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. I hope to encourage and strengthen my brothers and sisters in the practice of the faith Behind long independence, belong this Pella country, long year 1975. All bishop belong you Pella, Imakim Santu Michael, by M. E. Ense, look out, belong you Pella Strait. All Imakim van Pella Spirit. Because you, Pela, is a belief, long, old, good, Pela, spirit, na you, Pela, is a pret, long, old, spirit, no good. Santo Michael, he pray true, belong, people, belong, God. E mi help him, you, Pela, long, win him, Satan, na old time, belong, them. To them he ask him, him, by him he look out him, all leader belong government, belong you, Pela. All get a people belong this Pela country, and this Pela one time belong you, me too. It is not possible to recount the whole story of the gospel in Papua New Guinea. But I wish to pay homage to the sacred history of evangelization and to mention some of those apostles who lived and died so that the sons and daughters of this place might know and love Jesus Christ with the marvelous and praiseworthy efforts of all these missionaries and of many others before our eyes. The words of the first reading of today's liturgy come to our mind. I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For him, I have accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as so much rubbish, if only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. The first attempt of evangelization was made by the Marist on the islands of Woodlark and Rook in 1847 but they had to leave. Five years later, another attempt was made there by the Pime missionaries, blessed Giovanni Matsukuni, who died at Woodlark in 1855 and who was recently beatified in Rome. With the arrival of the missionaries of the Sacred Heart on the feast of Saint Michael the Archangel in 1882, 
a new era dawned in 1896. The Society of Divine Word opened up a third area of missionary endeavor. The Church, living among new peoples and nations, gradually grows towards maturity as indigenous sons and daughters take up and respond to the divine call of the gospel. It is my fervent prayer that the church in Papua New Guinea, as she continues to grow and mature, may experience a great flowering of vocations to the priesthood and religious life. The missionary church in this country realized the importance of fostering vocations. In this, the establishment of catechists and teacher training schools proved, proved providential for, for vocations in the various regions. Today, you are blessed with the regional major seminary of Bumana, which, which prepares for the priesthood young men coming from all the local churches. These seminarians give us great hope for the future of the church in Papua New Guinea. I thank God that many women of Papua New Guinea have accepted his call to the religious life as, er as early as 1912, the first local congregation of sisters was founded, the Daughters of Mary Immaculate. And six years later, the handmaids of the Lord were begun were begun here in Papua. There have also been occasions to the religious brotherhood. On this historic occasion, we lift up our hearts in an ardent prayer for more priestly and religious vocations so that the work of evangelization can be carried on. I want to express my gratitude to all of you for your perseverance also in the rain.
Mi givim gude longiu pela, ol pikinini, bilong sios, na pela, ol bilip manmeri, bilong Mount Hagen Strait. Iu pela, i kai kai dis pela, wan pela, bret, emi santu oikaristia, na bodi bilong krais. Olsem na jupela i kama wanpela pipel bilong got. Bodi hajt bilong krajst na santu sios bilongem. Wan handet ja i go pinis. Sios i stap long Papua Nugini i kama. Tude emi amamas Tru long bunk van time sios bilon golgeta hap bilon ground long wanem bisop bilon grom emi holim ples bilon santu pita istab wan time yupela. Tude, yumi bunkia, na one time olgeta man meri bilong sios, istap long Papua Nugini, yumi olgeta i like give him ona na thank you long Santo Trinita. Long one em God, he make him come up, bless clear pinis, think think belong em belong all time. Namel long all people belong and he stop long this pella country. Em this pella think think long out him good news, na ready me more get a man Mary. Today, one time you pella me like give him thank you. Naona long Santo Trinita, long one em all people belong Papua New Guinea. Only line belong God now. Only one pella people. Jesus he ready him long blood belong em idea to us. Me out him thank you belong me because you pella he bung one time sios belong Christ na because you pella he come up one bell time you pella he bung one time Papa na son na Holy Spirit. Mi prebai bispela mari mari, dispela mari mari bilong got, i kama ples klia moa, yet inside long yupela na name long yupela. Bai emi got pas long yupela, long time i kama behind. Na bai Emi helpim jupela, long time jupela, i stab laip hia long ground. True ground belong jupela, emi nais pela moa. Olsem na jupela. No, he can lose him, think, think, long life belong all time. Na long boom, one time, God, long heaven.
the church, like Jesus, her Redeemer, desires always to be close to those who suffer. She helps them to find meaning in their fear and pain by teaching them that suffering is not a punishment from God, nor something caused by witchcraft or evil spirits. The Church offers grace and strength through the sacrament of the anointing of the sick by uniting your sufferings with the sacrifice of Christ. You help others to share in Christ's redemption. You cooperate with Christ in bringing his salvation to Papua New Guinea and to the world. As you try to live the mystery of suffering in union with Christ, be men and women of prayer. Likewise, look forward to meeting many of my other Christian brethren, especially those of the Anglican Communion, who are so numerous in this land. Upon all, I invoke the grace and peace of Jesus Christ. Dear young people, I am very pleased to be able to meet you today. For me, you represent all the youth of Papua New Guinea, whom I love deeply and in whom I have great trust and confidence, I wish to tell you how important Jesus Christ is for you and how important you are for him. in knowing Jesus, in studying his teaching in the Gospels, you will also get to understand yourselves more fully. Yes, you are very important for Jesus, and you are very important for me and for the whole church. <laughs> it is a mitre. A special mitre. It is a Papuan New Guinea, New Guinea's mitre for the Pope. Thank you. <laughs> the 
The church in your countries has been endowed by the Holy Spirit with unity in diversity. The faithful belong to a great variety of cultures and backgrounds as is reflected in their many languages and traditions. One of the many ways in which this unity is made visible is collaboration and, and joint action by the bishops Conference of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands. I wish to encourage you in this important collegial endeavor. Episcopal conferences should strive to address the major pastoral problems affecting the life of the church. There are many topics that await the clarifying, the encouraging teaching of the bishops, the family, sacraments, evangelization, catechesis, and prayer are just examples. Joint pastoral documents give opportunities to present the official doctrine of the Church in clear and understandable terms while taking into consideration the concrete situations and problems. Allow me now to direct your attention to the topic of the laity. They have made and continue to make a truly indispensable contribution to the life and vision of the Church in your countries. As bishops, we have a great responsibility to assist families and married couples. Our special service is to proclaim the truth of the Gospel, to hand on in its purity and entirety the Church's teaching on marriage and family life. I thank you for your warm hospitality and for all the preparations which you have made for my pastoral visit. In the bonds of hierarchical communion and collegial service, which unite us in the universal fellowship of charity and faith, which binds all the local churches with one, and one another and with the Lord. Let us go forward together in the name of Jesus.
Christ died for all of us to liberate us from the bond of selfishness from which by ourselves we could never escape to make us free and to enable us to live for him. This is the gift which Christ won for all of us, clergy, religious, late. Lay leaders and catechists also serves, serve as ambassadors for Christ, seeking to promote harmony and peace. Here in Papua New Guinea, your apostolic efforts have been vitally needed to hand on the message of the gospel to your brothers and sisters, men and women religious, by their religious consecration, play a special role in the Church's ministry of reconciliation. Precisely by means of the vow of obedience, they decide to be transformed into the likeness of Christ who redeemed humanity and made it holy by his obedience. Working in hierarchical communion with the local bishop, priests strive to build up the unity of the local Christian community. Above all, dear brothers, you must foster reconciliation in the Church and in the world through your attentive ministry of the sacrament of penance and the celebration of the Eucharist in order to live for Christ and no longer for, for ourselves to collaborate in the ministry of reconciliation, to build the kingdom of God, we must bear the cross and follow Jesus.
on behalf of the people of Papua New Guinea to say farewell to you and wish you Godspeed on your journey to Bangkok. Please stay in Papua New Guinea has given me great joy. I bid you all farewell with deep emotion and sincere gratitude. As I met the clergy and religious, the catechists and members of Christian families, and especially the young people and the sick, I could see great hope for the future of the church in Papua New Guinea. I know, too, that by this pastoral visit, the bond of ecclesial communion, which links the Bishop of Rome with the local churches in this land, has been confirmed and strengthened. Bless you with peace and joy. God bless Papua New Guinea.